Hello and welcome to Grow3D, the channel where we make game assets with a 100% Blender workflow. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to bake normal maps in Blender 3.0 and export it for use in Unreal Engine and Unity. Normal maps are commonly used in games to give models extra surface details and smoothness without increasing its poly count. With normal maps, I can transform this humble default cube into this, 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 and even this, all without adding any extra polygons. All of them have the same amount of vertices. For this tutorial, we're going to create a high poly cube, sculpt some details into it, and take those details as normals into our humble default cube. So to get started, delete everything, create your own cube again, make a copy of the cube, call it high poly, rename the default cube into low poly, just so that it is clear, hide the low poly cube. So for the high poly cube, we will need to add some polygons to it for it to live up to its namesake. So we'll use a subdivision surface. Simple, set it to 5 and press Ctrl A to confirm it. Now we have more polygons, but that is not enough. So we're going to add a little bit more. For this time, we can use the Catmull Clock to give it some edges. So we add, let's say, Yep, 3 should be enough. It gives us nearly 800,000 vertices. That's more than enough for us to sculpt some details into it. Shade smooth. And let's get to sculpting. Alright, you can do this without a uh, tablet or a stylus. We're just gonna sculpt some simple details using some built-in procedural texture. So in order to do that, go to your draw brush, which is the first one. Go to the texture, create a new texture. Under the texture properties, change this to Voronoi. Yeah, this looks good. Okay, let's change the coloring to position. Perfect. All right. Now go back to your active tool. Set the sample bias to negative one, much better. So if you are using a mouse to do this like I am, just remove the strength pressure, change the strength to, I think 0.1. Yeah, so this just allows us to quickly add some surface details to our high poly cube. Alright, one thing to note when doing this, when creating details for normal baking, is to not deform the high poly cube too much. Because any details that are either too deep or too extruded are not going to bake well on normal maps. So unfortunately that is one of the limitations of using a normal map because basically a normal map kind of fakes the lighting in the render engine. So there's only so much you can fake without actually adding the extra extra polygon. All right, we've got something pretty nice. I think we can bake this now. Yeah, look at that. All right, so go back to your layout. We have a pretty decent high poly cube. Unhide your low poly. Now, hide your high poly. The next thing we're gonna do is to prepare the low poly cube to bake the normal map. So in order to do that, we would first need to UV unwrap it. One thing to note when unwrapping for normal map is to make sure that the sharp edges like this, the faces with the sharp edges are not adjacent to each other like this. Because if you do, right, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen. This is what happens if you have normal maps with sharp edges conjoined together side by side. For this one, we're just gonna use the simple Smart UV Project. Gonna 
put the outer margin of 0 0.1 there we go now that's gonna look good all right the next thing to do is that because we are exporting this model for use outside of blender so it is always very important to triangulate your mesh before you exp if you're using your model for an external renderer if you don't triangulate your mesh different renderers would triangulate them in their own different way so there could be some difference in shading between unity and unreal if you do not triangulate your mesh so all you need to do is just make sure you have all the faces selected go to um, face and triangulate faces there you go i like to do this after i unwrap it, it makes it easier to unwrap if you're unwrapping any complex models all right now to prepare your cube for baking you need to give it a material let's just use a default material we'll go to our shading tab personally i like to set my background to gray so i can get a nice cleaner look all right let's give it some color so it doesn't look so bland yeah this is kind of all right so we have a high poly, push this, and a low poly. To prepare our material of baking, we will need to create an image, which is the target that we bake our normal map into. So just create a new image, call this normals. I'm going to make it 4K. Uncheck alpha because, well, normal map doesn't use alpha. Uh, check to the two bit float, press OK, and then image, save. I personally save it as TGA. There we go. Shift A to search for image. Set it to our normals. Make sure you change the color space to non color because normal maps are non color maps or else you're gonna get some really funky bakes all right now go to your render properties change your render engine to cycles because unfortunately ev doesn't support baking if you have a gpu you can use gpu compute or else cpu works fine as well i use gpu compute just so it's faster for the sampling for the render section you can actually uncheck the noise and set it to one sample all you need is just one sample. There's no need to waste precious GPU resources. Uncheck the denoise because we do not want the denoising. For the performance, I changed my tiling to 256 because I'm using an old crappy PC and it takes up a lot of memory if I put it to 2K. Um, for color management, I like to change this to standard just so that the normal map looks the same on Blender as with when I view it in other applications and under bake you can change it from bake type to normal you can leave the influence as it is check selected to active cage all right so we need to quickly create a cage for baking a cage is a mesh that basically encompasses both the high and low poly mesh to create a more accurate bounds for the uh, rays okay, you need to create a copy of a low poly object rename it cage all you need to do is create an object that covers both the high poly and low poly cube um i go in the wireframe okay let's, let's let's get closer so we can see it properly so right now the cage and the low poly object are on the same exactly the same size so we will go to string fatten and yeah just like make it slightly larger than the low poly object there we go this should be a good cage now we go back to solid all right so we'll check the cage we will set the cage to our cage object set the max ray distance to one output image textures because we are targeting an image texture and the margin i leave it at 16 clear image all right now because remember we're baking from selected to active so we need to select our high poly hold control this is very important hold control and click on low poly 
Now this makes the high poly the selected object and the low poly the active object. All right, here's where the magic happens. Now press bake and if all goes well, there we go. You should get something like this. Ah, this looks like a perfect normal map. So before we view it, we have to save it first. Sometimes it wouldn't appear on the material editor if we don't save it. All right, now we can hide the cage and the high poly object. Now let's co connect our normal map to our low poly cube to see how it looks like. To do so, just add a normal map node. Connect the color of the normal map image into the color of a normal map and normal map, normal into normal. There we go. There we go. Now let's compare. Let's compare both side by side and see how it looks like. To make things clearer, you just add the material. Uh, create a copy. It's quite a high point because we want it to be the same color. So instead of copying the color, we can just copy the material. Uh, go to shading for high poly, just cut off the normal map. Just erase it. And yeah, you get the, uh, the color did the same. All right, so let's combine them side by side and see how it looks like. High poly, GX, low poly, GX. There we go, look at that. Look at that. One could even say they are almost indistinguishable. You see how this is a low poly cube and this is a high poly cube. Look at how dense it is. And you see how the normal map captures not just the details but also the smoothness of the corners. So this is how you get smooth corners in low poly objects without adding any extra, you know, supporting chamfers and bevels and stuff. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Now all we need to do is to export the uh, low poly object. Let's just hide the high poly. Press Alt G to reset the location to make sure that the location is back to its origin point. Make sure that all the transforms are, you know, there are no outstanding transforms. Select the low poly object, go to file, export. We'll be using FBX on the settings. Check selected objects because we are only exporting the low poly cube. Leave the transform as it is. For the geometry, set the smoothing to face. For armature, uncheck add leaf bones. Click export. And now, for the first one, we're gonna export it to Unreal. All right, so I have the default scene in Unreal opened. I'm using Unreal 4.27. So all you need to do to import the model and the normal map into Unreal is go to your folder, drag and drop it into your content browser. Just import it with the normal, with the default settings. It will bring in both the normals and the material. So let's drag and drop it into the scene and see how it looks like. Okay, as you can see, let me just get closer to it. As you can see, the normals are looking a little bit odd in Unreal. And that is because in Unreal Engine, the normals it uses, you have to flip the green channel. Because they use a different interpretation of normal maps. So once you have check flip green channel, click save. And now there you go, see? It looks as it is supposed to look right now. And you can inspect it closer. There you go. It's that easy. All right, so we have Unity opened up here. 
As with Unreal, all we need to do is just drag and drop the default cube. But for Unity, we also need to go to the... We also need to drag and drop the normal map itself. The one I saved it as was normals, so just drag and drop it. One thing nice about Unity is that it will automatically detect normal maps and you can click on fix and it will basically set the texture type to normal map. So there's no other settings you need to do. It's pretty much drag and drop. And now, you just drag and drop it. Because the material has already been set to this normal map, so when you drag and drop it, it's pretty much ready. There you go. Look at that. So that's it. That's how you make and bake a normal map in Blender 3.0 and export it for use in Unreal Engine and Unity. If you found this video to be useful, do drop a like and subscribe or drop a comment. And thank you for watching.